Welcome to this Bluehorn video on our digital worksheets and how to create a digital worksheet and use them within your Bluehorn platform. For the sake of this video, I'm using our demo agency account and we'll be using fictional information within that account to create a digital worksheet for you to see. As a reminder, you'll need to have a campaign created or create a new campaign in order to create a new worksheet. For the sake of this, I'll be using a recent campaign to create a new digital worksheet. In the campaign, scroll down to add a new worksheet. Give it a name. You can adjust the date range. Market type is always unrated for our digital worksheet types. Then select digital as your vendor type. Select a market and your vendor or vendors and then you can adjust these other options accordingly. You can use our grid layout if you so choose, but for the sake of this video, I'll be using in our traditional format. Once you click Add Worksheet, scroll down, and you'll see your newest digital worksheet at the top. Click on it to begin editing. I'm going to shrink the sidebar menu, just for the sake of cleanliness of the screen for this demo. Here you'll see the vendor information in pre-buy worksheet and summary information that you're used to on the side. Here's where you start building your worksheet. We suggest using the bottom add line to get started and leave line one as a blank. You give your line items a name, skipping the group column. If you have a question about our grouping format for digital, please email us at support at bluehorn.com. But for most users, you can skip over to the name section. This is where you can give the campaign a name, or you can name this anything you'd like by the creative, etc. It's totally customizable, as is most of our digital worksheet, to accommodate the many different types of digital purchases that are available in the marketplace now. We're going to call this one Display Campaign. Select your start and end dates, and as a reminder, these need to fall within the dates of your campaign. You can always check that up here in your pre-buy worksheet. For the sake of this line item, I'm just going to call it a few weeks and then select the digital vendor. Here's where you can call a type and again this is totally customizable. I'm going to call this display ROS but you could call this anything from SEO and PPC, display banners to digital radio to over the top or video on demand. However you want to use your digital worksheet is totally up to you. Here's where you have a few options as far as entering price. Our system gives you two options for calculating your costs, or you can enter a flat gross rate. For example, if I'm using impressions and cost per thousand impressions, I would enter the number of thousand impressions I'm buying. So say I'm buying 250,000 impressions, skip over to the cost per thousand, and I'll say they're five dollars. As you can see when I tabbed across, the total is automatically calculated and then netted down by the percentage that I set up on the worksheet. If you'd like to change your gross to net percentage ratio, you can do that in the Edit Worksheet section. Scroll to Manual Net and toggle that on. For now, it will do automatic calculation based on what you have selected. So for this line item, we'll continue it, leaving the impressions and cost per thousand. Here you can enter a website if applicable although you may be buying a package for many sites, uh, etc., but you can enter a URL or leave it blank. Again, you can enter a deadline. This will not populate on your insertion order, but you can enter it for internal purposes. And here's the comment section, which again is unlimited and allows you to enter information such as geographic targeting, um, special comments, flight dates, as well as other information about the creative or needed vendor info here. So I might say any town USA geofence campaign, mobile and desktop. I might give flight dates, etc. And then hit add line. You can see the information auto populates just as in our other worksheets. Um, so to make the ease of transition um, between lines 
easy if you're buying multiple things of the same. So say I'm buying a display campaign again, but I may just be changing it to um, a different set of dates. And here's where I'm going to demonstrate, if I wanted to use cost per click instead of cost per thousand, you can enter a number of clicks, again, in thousands. So if I'm buying 250,000, I enter 250. A cost per click, let's say a five, let's say $1. And here, you can see it calculates the total for you. So again, impressions and cost per thousand, or clicks and cost per clicks to use the calculator. I'm going to add this line and do a third where you can see how the system will calculate if you want to just do a flat rate package. You would zero out these lines if you are using the add a line feature. And then you can just enter a flat rate. So in this column, I'm just buying a $2,500 flat rate package. Some people use this and then include the number of impressions, etc., in this comment field. Hit add line and you've got them all in. I'm going to preview the order so you can see what this looks like on our digital worksheet format. Here you can see all of the information again on the rep is in the left hand corner, your campaign is in the center, your agency is on the right. You can see that in the field where I entered the cost per thousand impressions is done here for your rep to see. Clicks is here and the flat rate just skips straight over to the gross cost. You can see this worksheet type also includes a gross and net monthly summary at the bottom, just like you're used to with other worksheet types. Click back to go back into your worksheet, and again, you can send the order directly through our system by clicking here. If you're curious about sending the orders through the system, please see the video on emailing your orders directly through Bluehorn at bluehorn.com backslash videos or on our YouTube channel. If you have questions about your digital worksheet, please remember to use our life raft feature from within your worksheet to get the fastest possible response time. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy.